Hey guys, Alex here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you a compilation of the houses that we have for sale in Uptown Cagayan de Oro outside of Savior States and Pablo de Oro subdivision. So it's XE and Pablo subdivisions I didn't include in this compilation already because I have a separate compilation just for houses in Savior States and also for houses in different Pablo de Oro subdivisions. So this compilation is already an updated version since I did uh, the first compilation last year. So I'm doing an update because some of those listings are, are already sold and we also have new listings. So that's why I'm sharing this compilation, this updated version with you today. Okay, so let us start with Vista Grande. Vista Grande is a subdivision which is ahead Pablo de Oro Golf Estates. It's beside the Gran Europa community. This is a bungalow house and lot unit. It has a lot area of 150 square meters and a floor of 50 square meters. It has two bedrooms, one toilet and baths. It is a corner lot property and it is at 3.9 million. So it has a balance with Pag-ibig at 1.2 million as well. And then we have Gran Europa. So we have several listings in Gran Europa. First off is we have one in Lysandra Heights. This is a 2.2 million property. It has a lot area of 63 square meters, a floor of 46 square meters, two bedrooms, one toilet and bath, no car parking. So usually the residents of Lysandra just park along the road. And then we have a unit for Asum in Lysandra Peak. So Asum price is 360 it has a lot area of 60 square meters with and a floor area of 46 square meters. It's a two-story property, two bedrooms, one toilet and bath. And then we have another property in Frontiera. So this is a 6 million property in Frontiera. This is another subdivision within the Gran Europa complex. So Gran Europa is a huge community by Villar, by Vista Land and Livescapes. It's, it has around... I think 13 already, 13, 14 subdivisions inside it. So Frontier is one of their, the first subdivisions that they develop. This house has a lot area of 125 square meters, a floor area of 130 square meters, three bedrooms, two toilet and baths. And then we have a new listing in Lameran Crest. So Lameran Crest is one of their newer subdivisions. This is an ELISA model unit. It has a lot area of 110 square meters, floor of 120, four bedrooms, three toilet and baths. This is at 7.9 million. And then another unit in Lamirand Crest. This has a bigger lot area because the lot area is 183 square meters. Floor area is 83 square meters, four bedrooms, three toilet and baths. It was built in 2016. So this is still mortgaged. This is a Drina model unit, and this comes at 8.5 million. And then another unit in Lamirand Crest. This one is a Sapphire model unit. It has a lot area of 121 square meters, a floor area of 110. It has three plus one bedrooms, three toilet and baths, and this one is at 5.4. And the next is another listing in Montaña Vista. So this is a corner lot property. It has a lot area of 148 square meters, a floor area of 243 square meters, five bedrooms, two toilet and baths. This one is at 12 million. And then we have a listing in La Buena Vida. It has a lot area of 120 square meters, a floor area of 204 square meters, four bedrooms, two toilet and baths. This is at 3.5. And then we have a new listing in La Buena Vida. This one has a lot area of 120 square meters, a floor area of 100 square meters. It's a bungalow with three bedrooms, two toilet and baths. It has one car parking and this one is at 4.5 million. So for those who are looking for houses uptown below 5 million, you can actually find a couple of these in Gran Europa area. And then we have another listing in Montaña Vista. This has a lot area of 120 square meters, floor of one... 20 square meters, three bedrooms, two toilet and baths, 2.8. And then another in Montaña Vista, lot area 120, floor area 90 square meters, three bedrooms, two toilet and baths. Again, this is a bungalow unit. This is a 2.5. And then another listing in Montaña. So this one has a bigger lot area. So the lot area is 227 square meters, floor area is 50 square meters, two bedrooms, two toilet and baths. This is actually an old photo. I still have to update this photo, but this house was just renovated by the owner, so it's lo it looks quite nice now. This is at 3.8 million. 
And then another in Lissandra. It has a lot area of 65 square meters, floor of 35 square meters, two bedrooms, two toilet and baths. It's at 1.9 million. And then we have one listing in Camellia Homes. So Camellia Homes is also by Vista Land, company owned by Villar. And Camellia Homes is the first, one of the first subdivisions that they developed in Cagayan de Oro. And it's very near to SM City Mall. So you can just, it's just a couple of minutes drive. It's almost in front of SM Mall. So this is a Ridge View property. It has a lot area of 120, floor of 120, two bedrooms, three toilet and baths. This one is at 3.7. And then we have a two-story listing in Bellevue Home. So Bellevue is just at the back of SM City Mall. So if you're looking for affordable houses that's near Pablo Business Park and near SM, Bellevue would be a great choice because of the location. So very prime location. And just outside Bellevue, Bellevue subdivision, there's a lot of commercial establishments already so if you need to buy like something from the convenience store if you need to buy something from the bakery or if you want to eat out then you can just literally walk to the these commercial establishments you don't even need to take your car since it's very near just outside the subdivision line so this one is a corner lot property it has a lot area of 120 and a floor area of 170 square meters it has three bedrooms two toilet and baths and the owner will be leaving his stuff behind so it comes furnished as well so this is at 7.5 million this house is also very near the bellevue gate and then we have a new listing in bellevue this is a bungalow it has a lot area of 110 square meters floor of 80 square meters two bedrooms one toilet and baths this one is at 3.7 million and then we have a rush sale in bellevue so this has a lot area of 95 square meters and a floor area of 35 square meters, two bedrooms, one toilet and baths at 2.8. And then another bungalow in Bellevue. So by the way, mo the, the houses in Bellevue are mostly bungalows because that's the design of the developer. So if you see two-story houses, the owners already improved on that. So for this last listing in Bellevue, it has a lot area of 110 square meters, floor area of 42.5. Three bedrooms plus a maid's room, two toilet and baths, and it's at 4.3. And then we have one listing in Hillsborough Point. So this is a very affordable house and lot unit at only 6.8. So it's very hard nowadays to find listings in Pablo de Oro subdivisions below 8 million because usually the market prices are 8 and above. But this one is only 6.8, so it's quite a steal. Although you will have to renovate this property because it was built in 2007. It has a lot area of 180 square meters, floor area of 130. It has four bedrooms, two toilet and baths. So it can fit a one car for the parking space, but there's actually extra space in front as well to fit other cars. And then lastly, we have a new listing located in Navona, which is a subdivision by John Dorf. It has a lot area of 51 square meters and a floor of 36 square meters. It is bare finish, so you will have to be the one to put in tiles and partitions as well. But it's only very affordable at 2.5 as well. And that's it for today's compilation of the houses that we have in the uptown area outside of Savior Estates and Pueblo de Oro. If you would like to be updated of my newest listings and great deals, new projects here in Cagayan de Oro and Davao, then please send me an email so I can add you to my mailing list. Hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, I will see you in my next video.